Um, most of my cases are here to the Yeah. So usually a lot of them are Yeah. So I'm Lieutenant Commander Josh Wofford, uh, MH-65 Delta pilot for the United States Coast Guard. Uh, we're here for the air show just to kind of show our appreciation for the public and uh, us being able to be able to serve them for uh, so many years with this awesome helicopter. Just give people a chance to come out, uh, check out, see what the Coast Guard's about, um, let their kids come, hop in the uh, pilot seat, get a feel for the controls, and hopefully one day maybe consider the Coast Guard as a place to work. CMH-65 Delta is our short-range response helicopter up in Alaska. We're out of Kodiak and we do what's called the Alaska Patrol Mission basically where we uh, take off from the back of uh, Coast Guard cutters in the Bering Sea, we do search and rescue, uh, law enforcement, fisheries enforcement, and uh, just helping out the local community and uh, doing whatever is needed as far as search and rescue goes. A Coast Guard here in Alaska, as uh, awesome as this helicopter is, it doesn't have de-icing capability, so that presents a challenge, particularly operating in the winter, but uh, we've got awesome crews who are very professionally trained um, we work really hard and do the best that we can to make sure that we're able to safely operate up here. My favorite part about being stationed here is just seeing all the beautiful mountains. Um, I love the glaciers down in Cordova, uh, the sun being up most of the time in the summer, and uh, the fishing's awesome too. My favorite part of the air show is uh, I'm a little partial to the F-22. That's probably my uh, favorite performance so far. And uh, just seeing everybody out again, smiling and happy and uh, talking to each other just makes me happy. So, uh, if, if you've never been to an air show, I recommend you come out to Arc Thunder, check it out. Um, it's amazing to see all these capable aircraft, see what the uh, U.S. military is up to, and even uh, civilian aviation. And if you have any interest in uh, becoming a pilot, flight mechanic, or um, serving either the military or um, just in aviation at all, come talk to any of us. We pilots, aviators love to talk, and we love to tell you about our jobs. Our recruiters are recruiters here. Ready to meet ready to meet critical members of families and families during our commemorative Civil Week. You can be always ready and always there. Supporting your supporting your state and your nation and your nation. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you'll just God, we are blessed today to have this opportunity. Lives at risk for others and do good deeds that go unnoticed. <laughs> Low speed control is just as important to those who go fly. As serious approaches go center from your right. Notice the gray paint scheme of the F-16, one that's designed there you go. to make it. Love your jacket and your dress. Very pretty. Uh, Tom Larkin, and I'm the owner and pilot of Mini Jet Air Shows. I've been piloting a Mini Jet for five years, but I started off in the Air Force actually with the 525, which is here now. I was an F-15 driver in Pittsburgh with them, and now it's an F-22 Raptor squadron up here. Absolutely. I uh, got my license at 19. I was flying radio control before that, and uh, I've been flying nonstop for 40 years now. So this is a awesome way to get back to the crowd because uh, the kids love it. It's something that attracts the kids, so it allows them to engage and it allows me to take the wigs off and travel the country with my wife. I do, I do. I went over to the 525 last night and it was just, oh my gosh, do I miss it. I, I love serving my country and I love flying jets. So doing the two better, uh, combined was you know, the highlight of my life. It is, it is. It's, uh, it's what I do it for. I only fly for 12 to 15 minutes per act, but I try and spend at least a couple hours engaging with the kids. It's, it's just awesome to see how they react to the aircraft, the air shows, and I remember doing that when I was a kid. So the more, uh, the more I can engage the audience, the better. Uh, just, just do it. Just go out and take one lesson. Just go out and get one ride in an airplane, and it, you're going to fall in love with it. That's what I did, and I've been flying ever since. I took one ride, one lesson when I was 19, and I had my license 62 days later. So uh, just take the first step. Go get an uh, incentive ride. Go get a one ride in an airplane and you fall in love with it and it becomes something you'll never get over. Yeah, we do this all over the country all summer long from the spring to the fall and this is one of the best crowds I've ever seen.
So, uh, Joint Base Elmendorf, Arctic Thunder 2022, you guys rock. And great crowd, great venue, great people, and really privileged to be here. My name is Melissa Burns, and I fly the Edge 540. I had the Edge built for me back in 2005, so I've been flying it for, uh, gosh, over 15 years now. It's a great airplane. Uh, it's built in Guthrie, Oklahoma, so it's a U.S. built plane. It's one of the most high performance aerobatic planes on the planet. I grew up in a flying family. My grandmother was a pilot. She did flight instruction. My grandfather was an Air Force test pilot. Uh, so I actually learned to fly with my grandpa at, at an air park in Butler, Pennsylvania, where my grandma lived at. Yeah, we're generations of flying. Uh, I went from learning to fly in high school. I went to Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University out in Arizona, and then I got involved in competition aerobatics. I ended up flying for the US team. I made the unlimited team when I was only 20, I think I was 22 years old, and yeah, I got into competitions, got into air showing, and it just, it just sucked me in. <laughs> you know what, this right here is one of my favorite shows to come to. I'm not from Alaska, my husband is from Telkeetna, and I actually met him here at this show six years ago, and we've got two little kids now, so this show is a really special spot for us. Um, I work and fly in Alaska, so for me, being able to connect with other Alaskans, being able to to inspire these kids and give them a chance to see see what we can do with airplanes. I just hope that, uh, you know, I hope they get inspired. I hope that they want to go out and chase their dreams. And I hope that they love being a part of Elmendorf's Air Show. I tell them, you know, for kids, stay in school, you know, study hard, make good decisions. Uh, flying is something that is a privilege, so we've always got to keep making those good decisions so that we don't lose that privilege. And get involved. Uh, if you're into airplanes, go volunteer at the airport. Go meet people. Go help out at an aero club. Uh, the, one of the best ways to get involved in aviation is just networking and uh, just coming out here. If you see me, come say hi. <laughs> oh yeah, to the Arctic Thunder Open House audience, thank you for being here. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't have an air show. We are here for you. We can go fly anytime, but we do these events for the audience. The Orca Flight returning to Show Center. She's continuing to raise serious dogs. To make it one of the most survivable heavy platforms in the U.S. Alongside her other qualities, this capability likes the C-17 30 Hercules. The C-17... Two Apache helicopters or an entire N1 bridge allows the Globemaster to move this coast. Four independent computers manage. That was me! All right, Team Ribs! Craft's overall size, those winglets are nearly nine feet tall. Hey everybody, we're out here at JBER. It's a beautiful day with really thick air. We're on Daunted Air Shows. I'm Stephen Christopher flying red. Dodd Rudberg here flying orange. And we're having a ball flying for you today. Hope to see you come out here. We fly a two-ship aerobatic routine. We're out of the Pacific Northwest in Washington. We love being in Alaska. We built our own airplanes, and we love to fly them for you. Uh, another highlight is obviously the Thunderbirds. They're on point here. Apparently, they like thick air as much as we do. And uh, it's really fun being here with the huge crowds. And what a successful show this has been. Fantastic. Thanks.